Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Center City Park. Uh, my name is Amy Grossman. I'm the president and CEO of the North Carolina Folk Festival, and I want to welcome you to today's announcement about the 2021 North Carolina Folk Festival that'll be September 10th through 12th. Uh, before I do that, I want to acknowledge and thank the folks who've joined us here and you're going to be hearing from today, Mayor Nancy Vaughn, Councilman Justin Outling, Scott Baker with Town Bank, and Henry Fourier with the Greensboro Convention and Visitors Bureau. So thank you all for being part of this. I also want to thank uh, our elected officials who are here, uh, Nancy Hoffman with the Greensboro City Council, Tammy Thurm, also with the Greensboro City Council, and Senator Michael Garrett. Thank you all so much for being here. You know, this past year has uh, presented many challenges for all of us. I think that's an understatement, uh, <laughs> both professionally and personally, but we are feeling very blessed to be emerging, emerging from that now with renewed health and a commitment to celebrating who we are and how we contribute our talents to our community, to our families, and for some, to the public. It is in this spirit of celebrating community and diversity with the public through the cultural arts and creative expressions that we are thrilled to announce that the 2021 North Carolina Folk Festival will be presented live, in person, as a gathering in the streets of downtown Greensboro this September 10th to 12th. You know, since 2015, we have hosted this transformational gathering in Greensboro for our residents and for visitors to our community. We've worked very closely with and continue to be supported by the city of Greensboro in this annual endeavor. To share some thoughts on behalf of the city of Greensboro, I'd like to invite Mayor Nancy Vaughn to come and speak. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here. I think a few years ago when it was announced that we were going to have the National Folk Festival, we didn't really realize the impact that it was going to have on our city. And do you know that the Folk Festival is one of the top 20 global events when it comes to the number of people who come to our city? That is an amazing number. What it does for our community and our businesses and our stature throughout the globe, really, you can't count. I remember when I heard about the Folk Festival the first time, I thought, what is folk, mu folk music? I'm not even sure I know what that is. And that first time that we had it in downtown Greensboro, folk music is everything. It started with Jewish wedding music, and it ended with Grandmaster Funk. Everything in between was at the Folk Festival. There is something for everyone, and most importantly, it's free. It's a free event that everybody can come down and enjoy in a great atmosphere. And I think that is one of the most fun events that we have. You know, it was difficult last year doing it virtually, but they did a great job partnering with the Blues Festival. The Blues Festival had their first in-person event last weekend downtown, and it was fabulous. And I know that this folk festival is going to be just as great. I am so excited for what's going to happen September 10th through 12th. I hope everybody marks their calendars because this is where you've got to be. Thank you. You know, obviously at Town Bank, one of our mottos is serving others and enriching lives. And this festival aligns greatly with that because it's focused on our entire community and it brings people together as Mayor Vaughn mentioned and Amy mentioned, it brings our diverse cultural community together in a way that is fun, celebratory, exciting, and people just get to mingle and meet with one another and that's great and it's vibrant because it brings economic impact and it brings social impact that's beneficial to us that as Mayor Vaughn said, you cannot put a price tag on. And so for us, through serving others and enriching lives, this is an experience that does just that in another way. And so we're thankful to participate in that. Uh, I want to say that we're strongly you know, committed to our partnership with the Folk Festival. They have been great in how they run the organization. Uh, you feel very good about participating as it's family friendly and exciting to bring my children down, young children, older children, and everyone can participate and feel good about being there. And so I want to thank you uh, and feel encouraged about that. 
Uh, lastly, you know, we are the presenting sponsor and we're proud of that, but there are a lot of other sponsors that have participated that make this event helpful over the years before us and now uh, with us. And so I think it's important to recognize, acknowledge all the sponsors that participate in this event uh, because it is a great event for our uh, climate. And so I'm thankful for them and want to make sure uh, they're acknowledged as well. So again, it, it's just a great time for Town Bank to be uh, with you, participate with the city, participate with the Folk Festival for all the right reasons. And so we appreciate that. Wow, talk about really terrific news. You know, I am a person who is not exactly young, so I should probably not use the word giddy, but it actually describes the feeling that I'm experiencing now. Giddy about the prospect of spending September and a wonderful weekend listening to music with each and every one of you. My wife, Cora, and I, we have two little ones, uh, 10 and eight. Some of our favorite memories from their childhood will be folk festivals of the past, so we're looking forward to creating new memories uh, this coming September. As Amy and others mentioned, 2020 was a really trying and difficult year. But notwithstanding that reality, everyone at the Folk Festival did an absolutely amazing job conducting it virtually. That said, I imagine that I, like many of you, are probably looking forward to doing it in person, and that's something we can all definitely celebrate. But no effort, whether it's virtual or in-person, happens without a lot of help and a lot of support. So definite thanks to Town Bank, all of the other wonderful sponsors, obviously the city of Greensboro, all of our public safety officials, and all of the volunteers that make that tremendous event go. So in closing, thanks to everyone involved. Look forward to seeing you in September. And again, thank you for all that you do for the city of Greensboro and helping us showcase our wonderful city, including our downtown. In 2014, the Greensboro Arts Council, the Greensboro CVB, the City of Greensboro, and the Greensboro community successfully submitted and secured a three-year contract to host the National Folk Festival. The successful growth of that event resulted in the formation of what we see here today, the North Carolina Folk Festival in 2018. The Folk Festival continues to be a grand event for local enthusiasts as well as regional and national travelers. Last year was an experience for us all, like no other, and the North Carolina Folk Festival persevered and maintains its presence in the national marketplace by hosting an online virtual event. The board had the wisdom to get together and said if, if we stop, we lose momentum, so we gotta do something, and they did, and they knocked it out of the park, so thanks for that. The Greensboro CBB, and I know the entire Greensboro community is elated that today's announcement of a full in-person North Carolina Folk Festival. It is exciting to see this that this event has grown into one of the largest events produced by Greensboro, and we hope to see all of you out there. Thank you. I want to thank again the City of Greensboro, Town Bank, the Greensboro Convention and Visitors Bureau for your support of the return of the North Carolina Folk Festival to the streets of Greensboro. In the coming weeks, we'll have lots more announcements. You know, now that we're able to confidently say that we're gonna have an in-person festival, the team is working really hard to uh, drill in and focus on all the details that everyone wants to know about what they can expect about this year's event. So stay tuned. If you're not yet signed up to receive our newsletter, please do so, uh, and of course, the other thing that we'll be announcing soon is volunteer opportunities. I know there are several of you I recognize and I know have been part of our volunteer team. So we'll have more news to share on that really soon. Thank you all so much for coming out today and sharing this news and being giddy with us. Um, so again, thank you, Mayor Vaughn and Scott Baker and Justin Outling and Henry Fourier. And uh, stay tuned, y'all, for some more announcements in the coming weeks. Thank you.